Hey guys and welcome to my vegan drugstore starter kit. So this is all pretty affordable makeup that you can find at the drugstore. It's going to be a little bit UK based, I'm not going to lie, these things you can get in Superdrug or Boots, but a lot of these brands you can get worldwide. If you're doing Veganuary, the challenge where you're vegan for January, then I really hope it's going well and I really hope this helps you. Or even if you just want to switch your makeup bag to be cruelty free and vegan, then yeah, I really hope this is helpful. And I did put off doing this video for a while because I went cruelty free with my makeup, then vegan, and then I started to look into more kind of like green brands, natural brands, a little bit more eco packaging, things like that. So for that reason, I didn't know if I would have a full makeup bag to share with you, but it, I have a full face to recommend to you. I'm gonna try and keep this concise and not too chatty, but yeah, I really hope it's helpful. And let's start with primer. For me personally, I never really used to use primer and even now I don't use it every single day. A primer is supposed to make your makeup go on a lot better and make it last a lot longer. Um, depending on what kind of primer you use, they can give different effects. So my favorite one from the drugstore is this one. This is by B, which is Superdrug's own brand range. If you're just starting out shopping cruelty free and vegan, I highly recommend Superdrug because they've got loads of own brand products. All of their own brand ranges are cruelty free and the vast majority are vegan. They're labelled as vegan if they are. So yeah, it's a great place to shop anyway, but they have got their own makeup range called B. Price point is pretty good and this brand is actually Leaping Bunny certified and Logical Harmony certified. So when it comes to cruelty free products, there are loads of different certifications that you'll hear people say like PETA certified, Leaping Bunny certified, cruelty free international certified. And it's just to kind of reassure the consumer that the product is cruelty free but one of the most respected bloggers who actually started you know approving different brands and looking into different brands is Logical Harmony and this primer is great if you want something that's going to be nice and illuminating it's very lightweight on the skin it feels very nourishing kind of like the Too Faced Hangover X primer which is also cruelty free I'm pretty sure it's vegan but that one's quite expensive this one's a bit more inexpensive and you'll see like it's not going to give you a massive difference it's not going to make your skin sparkly it's going to act as a nice refreshing base so your foundation will go on a lot better if you don't want to wear foundation this one might be quite a nice base just to put some concealer on and it will also make your whatever you put on top last a little bit longer no more so than a moisturizer but I do think having that barrier before your foundation definitely makes it wear longer throughout the day if you want more of a silicone based primer so this is something that's going to fill in your pores so if you've got deep pores around here if you pick your spots because we all I mean I did it back in the day I used to pick my spots non-stop used to have really bad acne and I would always reach for a pore filling primer I used to use the body shop insta blur um, but this one's a little bit less it's a little bit less pore clogging, I would say. Like, it's a straight up silicone primer. Reminds me of the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, um, which is also a cruelty free brand. They've got a parent company. I'm pretty sure they're owned by Estee Lauder. But yeah, this reminds me a lot of a cheaper version of that. So, if you want something that's going to be smoothing, I recommend the pre makeup primer. If you want something that's going to be brightening and awakening, I recommend the illuminator. And this is actually very similar to the Cover Effects Illuminating Primer. So, if you wanted, if you like this one, this is cruelty free and vegan as well. But if you want a dupe, I recommend this one. And then, in terms of foundation, I used to recommend this one. These are the Gosh Foundation Drops, and I still like these, don't get me wrong. These also remind me of the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops. Very, very smooth, very silky. It, for me, it sits well on my skin, but I have found that depending on your skin type, these can be a little bit greasy. I don't know if I would recommend them as highly to every single skin type as I used to back in the day. Like, I used to rave about these, but there is a foundation that's actually overtaken those. And Gosh is a cruelty free brand with loads of vegan options, also Logical Harmony certified, but. <laughs> going back to B, I love their foundation, specifically their Flawless Silk. So they do a Flawless Silk finish, which is a little bit more of a natural finish. It's not super dewy or anything, but it's just kind of like skin-like, whereas their Flawless Matte formula is a little bit more matte, but it's not cakey or like heavy matte at all. This sits beautifully on my skin. It wears really well throughout the day. It's just such an easy formula to work with. Looks like skin, feels like, doesn't feel heavy at all. Like, it looks like skin, feels like skin. It's just a great, great product. And the coverage is I would say medium but buildable, really easily buildable and it's under £5, it's £4.99 and I've had these for a while, I didn't know which shade I would be so I've been using N1, C2 and W3 but I'm mostly N1 in the winter time and I've been using these for ages and I haven't even made a dent in them. The packaging is the same as the primer, you have a little pump which I personally like, good for travel as well because there's no glass involved and in terms of the shade range it does go pretty deep, they have three deep shades. Uh, but the vast majority of the range are the lighter shades and it's that's kind of like a universal drugstore problem not just with B but yeah if they made their shade range in terms of their tones a bit better I think this would be a perfect line of foundations I realize I'm starting to ramble already so I'm trying to keep this as concise as possible I've got a couple of different concealer options so for a medium coverage I recommend the Lottie London got it covered concealer I use the shade porcelain this is a great concealer again pretty inexpensive I think it's like £3.99 something like that Lottie London are a cruelty free brand as well well, and this comes with like a little doe for applicator. It actually reminds me of the Maybelline 
age rewind concealer the, obviously the doe foot's a lot smaller but it's got a very similar consistency good coverage like i'd say medium full coverage but it's really hydrating medium full or maybe just medium but like i like a full coverage concealer don't get me wrong like more coverage under my eyes the better because i've got really dark under eyes um and i still really really like this like even though it is a medium coverage i find that if i want so if my skin is just really dry and just not loving life i reach for this one also great for touch-ups as well it layers really well on top of itself and i have a few friends that use this concealer and really really like it another one that is medium coverage that i would recommend is the makeup revolution concealer you know the one that everyone was saying was just like shape tape it's not like shape tape i don't think it's not as full coverage and it's not as matte, like it's more of a skin-like finish. Very inexpensive, but it, you go through it really, really quickly, so that's something to bear in mind. It's not the most cost-effective, I don't think, but now they've launched a bigger size, that might be better. I think it's called their Super Size one. Also the Essence one, I used to love this. This is their Stay All Day 16-hour concealer in the shade Natural Beige. I didn't really want to mention this just because the colour options for this are absolutely piss poor, like awful. There's like two shades and they're both really light. I think this is the lightest shade they do, which is fine for me, but also yeah, I used to love this because it was like yellow toned and it counteracted the blueness underneath my eyes. But yeah, the shade range is awful, so let's not give that too much hype. So those are concealers that I would use under my eyes. I would set them with a powder, but I find once I've set them they don't crease, they don't smudge, they last well throughout the day. I did just want to shout out the Flawless Duo Concealer, also by B, because if you want something that is similar to the Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage Concealer, so something that you could take a tiny little concealer brush and just micro conceal blemishes this is good for also um, carving out your brows this is nice for if you've got a strong lip color on like a liquid lip a bright red a bold red this is really nice for just neatening up around the edges it's really really full coverage and it comes in a good variety of shades like my friend Serena is like a medium skin tone like medium deep I would say and she uses this underneath her eyes I wouldn't do that because I'd find it be too drying but yeah she uses this product and really really likes it so I recommend this for that purpose I personally wouldn't use it underneath my eyes but you do you powder is a tricky one because I mean I have used this makeup setting powder by B and this is quite a nice pressed powder but I personally like a loose powder in fact I do like this I use it from time to time it's a nice translucent setting powder but the number one drugstore powder for me is the RCMA no color powder and I know it's not technically drugstore because you can't get it at Boots or Superdrug, but it is drugstore prices. It's £12 or £12.95. You have to order it online, but it's so worth it. Honestly, it comes in such a big jar. You get so much bang for your buck. I've decanted this into a smaller jar so that I could travel around with it. It comes in like a spice jar. It's huge, and I think it's actually intended for like stage makeup. Really supposed to hold up makeup really, really well, which it does. It does, but it's so fine, even if you have dry skin. Like Kathleen Lights is a YouTuber, and she's got really, really dry skin. She's the one that made this product as popular as it is today I would say it's so smooth on the skin it's set so well but not cakey or matte or flat like it is a great product and if you're oily I think this would also work for you if you use powder a lot I think this would be a great investment and it is only £12 which sounds like quite a lot but I would say like the gosh powders are around that price and you get don't get half as much as you do in this so yeah for powder that's my recommendation moving on to bronzer so the bronzer I wanted to mention is actually not here I don't have it anymore because I used it all up and it is a huge dome and I used the whole thing up and I feel like that says a lot my body shop but their baked to last bronzer and I use the shade warm glow it does have a shimmer to it don't get me wrong but it doesn't look glittery on the cheeks it doesn't look chunky on the cheeks if you like something like the MAC mineralized bronzers I think that's what they were called I highly recommend the body shop one it is 16 pounds so it is a little bit more expensive but like I say for me I had it for years and it lasted so well and even though it's 16 pounds body shop online if you order online they always do 40% off discounts which is pretty good yeah that's my favorite bronzer but some other ones if you live in america you know the physician's formula butter bronzer is banging mine's got a bit dry now i don't know it used to be really really creamy and great for pale skin because it's a really subtle like satiny finish um but yeah mine's gone a bit dry i don't know if that's because i did have it in my bag once and then cider leaked all over my bag so it might have got a little bit of cider in there and gone a bit funky so i, I kind of blame myself for that one um but if you want a matte bronzer my friend serena like i said she's got deeper skin to me but she uses the b matte bronzer it looks just like this but it is obviously a matte bronzer and she said it's really really good so yeah that's a matte one matte recommendation something for my transatlantic friends and also if you're uk based and you like something shimmery not shimmery but 
I mean, it is shimmery, don't get me wrong, but like, I'm not really a highlight kind of person. I don't like obvious glitter or anything. Um, and I really like that bronzer. So that's my recommendation for bronzer. And then for blusher, there are so many options. My favorite is the, again, B blushes. I love these. They also do an orange shade, which looks amazing as eyeshadow. I gave it to my friend Sophie because she wears orange all the time. So I pass that along to her. But yeah, I've got this on my cheeks today. Oh yeah, a lot of this makeup I've got on my face today. I forgot to say that, but it's such a nice neutral, slightly cooler, but it has got like, it hasn't got too much blue to it um, so it's really flattering nice and springtime esque also sleek do some good blushes probably need to double check that they're vegan but from what I remember they are vegan they're very intense colors though so yeah maybe check sleek out and just double check their vegan list if I can find any vegan lists or anything I'll pop them in the down bar for reference then I don't know if contouring is still a thing but I thought I'd mention some contour products I love the B contour sticks some of them you get a sheeny end and then you get obviously a deeper end some of them are matte these come in a couple of different shades I like this light one for when I'm pale for doing a dual contour these are amazing they blend out beautifully I've never heard anybody talk about them on YouTube full stop and I think they're brilliant brilliant products they last forever I mean I've got three of them here but I've hardly made a dent in any of them and I really had a craze with this light shade I used to just always like contour my jaw in fact I might put this in my makeup bag and start doing that again because that was a real look it just just does something you know and then the other contour kit I used to love is this sleek contour kit so this is a powder contour powder contour which I also used to use as a bronzer because I'm quite pale um, this is such a smooth formula like it's so pigmented and smooth but it blends out really nicely it's actually quite pigmented I have to say go go quite light with the bronzer if you're pale but yeah I'm pretty sure they do a couple of different shades of these this is the lightest shade they do and then they do a medium and maybe a deep as well so sleek's quite good if you like quite a pigmented contour um, but also if you wanted something a little bit more natural I love this Lily Lolo contour. If you're pale, this contour kit is gorgeous. Like, it is a step above. In terms of quality, it's a step above the sleek one. It's probably, this is about £12, whereas I think this is like £7. But this is a great option. Even if you want something like the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow, which is also vegan, but so expensive. That's, I think it's about £50, that one. This is a great option to go for. And you do have to order this online, but would highly recommend. Okay, moving on to eyes. Or should we do lips first? No, let's do eyes. I see, I'm hesitant to recommend mascaras because everyone has very individual preferences when it comes to mascaras. Um, but one that I think has stood the test of time, and I know some people, some other people really like, is this one by Gosh. So this is the Rebel Eyes Mascara, and the brush looks pretty similar to the Roller Lash by Benefit. So it might just, it might be a dupe for it actually, because they look very, very similar. It's a hard brush, so it's like a plastic brush, but it's got a bit of bend to it. The formula is really good. What I love about this is that it's a very natural looking lash, but it actually seems to lift my lashes up. I, unfortunately, I don't have it on today, but it seems to, without me curling my lashes, it seems to give the illusion that they're more kind of open and it does last really really well that was a firm favorite for 2018 towards the end of 2018 i was obsessed with this sainsbury's mascara so random it's about three pound but i can't find this anywhere in store i just don't get it and i've been getting messages from people saying like oh i really want to try that mascara that you love but i can't find it anywhere and then i started looking for it and i was like i can't find it anywhere I don't know, like, I originally got this because I went to the launch, I got it at the launch, well, why, you gonna, why do a PR launch if you're not going to stock the product? Even online I couldn't find it, so, um, sorry about that. It's great, but I don't know where you can get your hands on it. It's the Boutique uh, Volumizing and Defining Mascara. It's brilliant. If you want something nice and natural that's not going to irritate your eyes, I love this one. I think it's great, and as it's got more and more dry, I feel like it's got even better. If you want something a bit more dramatic, I would recommend this Essence one. So not all of the Essence ones are free from beeswax, but this one is. This is the False Lashes Mascara, Dramatic Volume Unlimited. This is a bristle brush mascara, and this is going to give you dramatic lashes. Like this is, it's quite a volumizing one. The brush reminds me of something kind of like the Lancome mascaras. So if you want a similar effect to that, but you know this is about two pound fifty, so it's a lot cheaper, and also it's cruelty free and vegan. Um, I would recommend these ones, but just double check on the Essence website whether it's vegan or not. And if you want to get Essence in the UK, you can get it from Wilkinson, which is kind of like a weird place to stock it because Wilkinson is kind of like a... What is Wilkinson? It's like a garden centre, stationery, body stuff, home stuff, kitchen, sweets, pick and mix. You can also pick up some pick and mix. Um, they actually label their pick and mix if it's vegan or not. Last time I was there, they labelled it. So there we go. I've tried my fair share of eyeliners from the drugstore. Let's start with liquid liner because this is kind of like my gig. I love liquid liner. I've used so many different liquid liners. My favourite one is the Kat Von D Trooper liner. This is not a drugstore recommendation, but I just wanted to say this is what I would usually reach for. The reason why I love this is because it's like a 
pen but it's a brush applicator it's not actually a felt tip the only ones I've managed to find at the drugstore are felt tip liners so it just means it's a different applicator it's a bit more of a stiff kind of applicator which means it's just a different way of applying eyeliner but you can still get a good effect from it and it just depends on what your personal preference is some people like gel eyeliners B do this gel eyeliner which I don't recommend this is really really dry um, but yeah some people like pot eyeliners some people like ones that ha like come with a pot attached it just depends on what your preference is but for me personally I like felt tip or like pen applicator liners so these are some that I've tried not I don't like this one actually I'm not going to mention that this one by Lottie London this used to be my favorite it is the wing woman liner I like this a lot I would still recommend it I would still purchase it but recently this one by B has been a favorite now it comes with two pens which I feel like gives it a little bit of an edge over the Lottie London one this one is really really black I mean the Lottie London one is really really black as well but I just feel like this one is a little bit more black and it seems to last really well on my eyes I've got it on today and you get two different kinds of applicators so say you're new to eyeliner and you want to get into it but you don't know what's quite going to be your gig then maybe pick up this one and see you know what works for you a longer thinner liner or a bit more of a stubby liner I think this is good I have really leaky eyes but yeah this stands the test of time and then in terms of cold pencils my favorite ones are by Barry M again a cruelty free brand I don't think I've mentioned them in this video yet but I love Barry M they do some great nail varnishes that's like the star of their show I used to love their strobe cream it's like a balm highlight that comes in a stick I didn't mention that earlier but yeah I'm not too much of a highlight person if you want something more like intense like a really really strong highlight check out makeup revolution because they've got some really really intense highlights they've also got highlighter drops that are very similar to the cover effects custom drops uh no cover effects highlighter drops barry m have also got those drops as well and barry m label on their website what's vegan and what's not vegan as i was saying their cold pencils i really really like this is their bronze shade and i've got it on my lower lash line today it's a wooden liner it's really easy to apply it's very soft doesn't seem to smudge too much on me it's not like bulletproof like it does smudge it does like transfer a little bit but I find all cold pencils will do that the only ones I find don't smudge are the Kiko eyeliners but Kiko confuse me because they're very shady when it comes to confirming or denying whether they're cruelty free so I haven't this is about six years old I haven't shot with Kiko in ages but yeah these ones don't budge at all these are the only cold pencils I've found don't budge at all but yeah the barium ones are still really good and I use them a lot and I like them a lot. He's still with me. I feel like you've probably drifted off because I've drifted off a bit. I'm exhausted. How do people talk? Like, how do people do story times that are like an hour long? I just don't get it. I just get tired from talking. Like, I feel like I've just had a driving lesson. I used to have a driving lesson and then I'd come home and just have to nap because I'd be like so concentrating the whole time. Ooh. again for eyeshadow I personally have quite sensitive eyes the same as my skin so I don't have too many eyeshadows to share with you but I do know some that are vegan so I would say number one recommendation would be Makeup Revolution Makeup Revolution do loads of different eyeshadow palettes and a load of them are vegan so if you check the Tan Beauty website they'll tell you whether it's vegan or not um, the ones that I think would be good say if you're a starter in makeup or you just want like a one palette that's going to do it all I think check out the Soph Does Nails palette so that's a collaboration with a beauty blogger if I could could wear products that have parabens in on my eyes without my eyes like stinging and watering I would run and get those palettes because they are beautiful she's got two now so one was like the original then she released another one I think the second one has got a really nice vibrant yellow in it it looks amazing my friends actually got I can't remember if it's the first one or the second one but she's got one of them and she uses it and it looks amazing on her she's deeper like she's got deeper skin to me so like the olives and the pinks really really suit her colorings the pigmentation is amazing I've swatched them in store they've got loads of different options um, and they come in actual palettes it's quite nice I mean I've got some singles to recommend but it is quite nice to have like a palette where it's all there some singles that I like and use again are the B beauty singles I just wanted to give a shout out to these three this one's really nice because you can use it as a highlighter as well as an eyeshadow but so with a loose pigment you kind of tap it out and then you apply it with a brush or with a finger if you apply it with a finger you'll get more of an intense shadow and if you apply it wet so you can just like dampen your finger or your brush and you can get more of an intense color so that green one is called olive the one I said you can use as a highlighter is called shine on and then this one is gorgeous as well this is called it hashtag it's them these are a little bit fiddly but the effect they give on the eye very very pretty so I've never found like the perfect eyeshadow base because for me personally I just use concealer an eyeshadow base is gonna make your eyeshadow go on a little bit better but if you do want a specific eyeshadow base elf do a really really cheap very very cheap <laughs> broke um, a really cheap eyeshadow base which is it's all right like it's okay it's quite like silicone based it doesn't seem to make the eyeshadows pop at all but it just acts as a nice kind of like smooth base 
for eyeshadow. None of these bases I would say like is are amazing. Like nothing beats concealer for me personally. And also it means that it's a lot cheaper if you've just got one product to do your concealer and to prime your eyes. It's, it's just easier. My favourite lip liners, similar to eye pencils, are the Barry M wooden pencils. The pigmentation is amazing. They wear pretty well. They're not like specifically long wear liners, so they don't cling to my lips amazingly, but they last a good amount of time. My favourite shades are Posy, which came with a lip kit. You can buy a little box that comes with a liquid lipstick and an eyeliner. They're great. Loads of those shades are vegan. But some other ones I like are Rose and Dark Pink. When they go on, they're not as soft as the Cole pencils, but I don't actually mind that. I find the harder the pencils, sometimes the more it clings to your lips. But with a little bit of lip balm, these are, you know, they go on nicely. And then lipstick wise, again, I love B lipsticks. I'm sorry, like this isn't sponsored by V, but just genuinely a lot of their stuff is really good quality and I feel like they've got good shade range. It's so clear because everything in the range is vegan, so you don't have to like be checking things each time and thinking, oh, is this vegan? Is this not vegan? Like you just know if it's in the B range, it's vegan. They've got a line of velvet mattes and a line of luminous silk. So this is the Ooh La La shade, which I loved earlier this year. I would wear this all the time. I don't really go for these grey shades anymore, like the kind of really light beigey shades, but it's a very pretty new if you do like that kind of thing pigmentation of these is banging they are creamy especially the silk ones are creamy even the matte ones it's not matte matte it's just like slightly it's not shiny and they're not dry at all they're just not too sheeny shiny i don't know if people still love liquid lipsticks but i thought i'd give these a shout out so i've tried a fair few like i said the barrier matte me up liquid lipsticks these are very very thin what i do love to do with liquid lipsticks these days is just wear a lip balm and then dab some of the liquid lipstick onto it so what i've got on my lips today i've actually got this red on but i just dab a few dots on and then work it in with my finger and it means that the the color will stay on my lips for ages but it's so low maintenance like you just put a lip balm on top mix it together dab it in with your fingers and you can just keep adding lip balm keep adding a few dabs if you need to top up throughout the day but it's not like wearing a full-on lipstick where you have to kind of be careful if anything smudges or if anything flakes away um yeah so that's what i like doing with liquid lipsticks just as a side note but yeah i've tried these i've tried some more creamy ones like the gosh ones and the sleek ones but my favorite again are the B liquid lipsticks these are so pretty and the color selection is amazing i love these i'm not even a liquid lipstick fan but if i ever go for a liquid lip i'm always reaching for the B liquid lipsticks and they're also nice and diddy and good for travel as well so yes that is the end of my cruelty free and vegan drugstore starter kit recommendations kind of video so i really hope that was useful in terms of setting spray i just use my toner as setting spray but there are loads of options at the drugstore i think MUA do um oh no I didn't talk about eyebrows sorry guys I was just about to let you go without talking about eyebrows um they jogged my memory because I used to use this MUA palette all the time for my brows I tried like fancy brands Anastasia Beverly Hills loads of like prestigious brands and I always go I go back to this and if only it hadn't smashed in my bag and it wasn't a pain to have in my makeup bag because it like the pigment goes everywhere I would use this every day I have got this on my brows at the moment but I just find that this brown and this black it works so well they don't even sell this anymore it's so old they don't sell it if you're looking for a brow powder maybe check out the vegan palettes by MUA they do have a few options check their website for the vegan list or it's like when you scroll through it shows you which ones are vegan but yeah that's what I used to use from the drugstore along with this little studio brush um, studio are a super drug own brand range as well oh god i should just be like face of super drug do you remember when um stacy from gavin and stacy was the face of super drug <laughs> that should have been me and then in terms of brow gel i still haven't found my absolute favorite brow gel of all time like high-end drugstore green non-green whatever one that i really really like and would de in fact i'm gonna buy this again this is the eye law and fleur de force collaboration brow tamer and fix and color the fix and color is absolute trash like it's a tiny little brush but it's just too maybe it's because my shade's quite dark and it's quite obvious like if you mess up but i just find it's a little bit too wet for the size applicator but the brow the clear side is great like it's a really nice brush it sets your brow hairs in place really really well it's firm but it's not too crunchy and it lasted pretty well like i used it every day for about three months oh i think it's gone moldy at the end like this i used this in like 2017 this is old so like you can see it's like all condensed i'm gonna throw that away actually went in the bin <laughs> another one that's really popular that is vegan is the essence make me brow this is very similar to the gimme brow by benefit and the brush is really really small it's not quite as waxy as the glossier boy brow oh no it's supposed to be the benefit gimme brow so many brow products all with very similar names but yeah this is good it's not like my all-time favorite but it's still pretty good i just don't find it's like 
waxy or like firm enough to set brow hairs in place amazingly well but I still think it's a good product would recommend it would buy it again it is about £2.50 so it's super inexpensive and it's cruelty free and vegan and yes that is pretty much it those are all the vegan products I would recommend from the drugstore if you've got any favourite drugstore brands or specific products that you think you'd want to recommend then feel free to leave me a comment if you've got a different skin type to me if you suffer with like hyperpigmentation or like really bad acne maybe you know give some recommendations to people who have different skin types and different preferences and then hopefully we can help each other to have completely vegan and cruelty free makeup bags as a community wouldn't that be lovely wouldn't that be great if everybody had vegan and cruelty free makeup bags i feel like it's definitely achievable nowadays there's so much choice so yeah here's to hoping i really hope you enjoyed and i hope you have a wonderful day and hopefully i shall catch you in my next video bye <laughs>